In this video, we'll explain how to create an account with Parity Signer. Before we begin, remember that the mobile device which will have Parity Signer installed on it should be factory reset to remove any previous data, disconnected from the internet, and set to airplane mode. Let's begin. Open the Parity Signer application, unlock the application, and accept the terms and conditions as well as the privacy policy. Choose New Seed and give your account a name. Remember to back up your seed phrase and make sure that you keep it safe. Tick I have written down my seed phrase and press next and now your Parity Signer account has been created. At this point you should have already created an account on your Parity Signer device and we can now add its details to Nova Wallet. Navigate to the keys tab of your Parity Signer application, click on your account's nickname in our case, Nova Demo, then click once again on the nickname. A QR code should now be displayed. Next, on your other device, open Nova Wallet. Remember, this is the device which is connected to the internet. Press Connect Hardware Wallet. Take note of the on screen prompts and press Scan QR Code. Point this device's camera at your Parity Signer device's QR code. After the QR code has been scanned, Press continue. Give your account a nickname in your Nova wallet application, in our case, Nova Demo. Your Parity Signer account has now been added to Nova Wallet. It should be noted that it is impossible to send transactions using only Nova Wallet in this instance because your private key is stored securely offline on your Parity Signer device. It is never shared with your Nova Wallet device. Due to the fact that the Parity Signer device is offline and air gapped at all times, you may be wondering, how can I update it? To update your Parity Signer device's chain metadata, we can use the scan function of the Parity Signer device to scan a QR code. This QR code transmits the chain's metadata to our Parity Signer device without having to connect it to the internet. We can use Parity's metadata portal to update the Polkadot, Kusama, and West End relay chain metadata, or we can use Novasama Technologies metadata portal to update those relay chains, as well as most parachains and solo chains metadata. Links to both of these portals will be in the description of this video, as well as on the Nova wiki. Navigate to your desired metadata portal, select the appropriate chain, in our case Kusama, and use your Parity Signer device's scan function to scan the QR code. Please note that if you are using a network for the very first time, you will need to add the chain specs before updating the metadata. If you do not update the chain's metadata, then sending a transaction may result in an error or a failure of the transaction. Now that you have created your Parity Signer account, linked it to Nova Wallet, and updated the appropriate chain's metadata, we can begin to receive tokens and also send some transactions. We will go over two methods to receive tokens on your new Parity Signer account with Nova Wallet. The first method is to simply send tokens from one of your existing accounts on Nova Wallet to your newly imported Parity Signer account. To do this from your other account, the one with tokens on it, select the token you wish to send to the Parity Signer account. Tap send. Click the Your Wallets drop down and select your Parity Signer account. In our case, it is the one called Nova Demo. Enter the amount of tokens that you wish to transfer. We will transfer 0.1 KSM. Press continue, check the details and press confirm. You will now receive the tokens in your Parity Signer account. The second way to receive tokens is to share your Parity Signer account's address. To do that, open your Parity Signer account in the Nova Wallet application. Tap on the asset you wish to receive Press receive. You will now see your recipient details. You can tap on the address at the top to copy it, scan the QR code, or share the QR code and address details. Now that we have tokens on our Parity Signer account in Nova Wallet, we can perform some transactions. Let's perform a cross chain swap where we send KSM tokens from the Kusama relay chain to the Basilisk parachain. Select the asset that you wish to perform the transaction with. In our case, that is KSM tokens on the Kusama relay chain. Press send. Change the to or recipient chain from Kusama to Basilisk. 
you can press the newly appeared myself button as we want to send the KSM to our own account, but on the Basilisk power chain. Enter the KSM amount, in our case 0.1 KSM, press continue, check the details and press confirm. A QR code will now appear in Nova Wallet. You should open the Parity Signer application on your dedicated device and scan this QR code with the scan function. Once the QR code has been scanned successfully, you will see some details of your transaction appear in Parity Signer. Review these details and then click unlock key and sign. A QR code will now appear on your Parity Signer device. So on your Nova Wallet device, press continue and scan this QR code. Your transaction will now be submitted. We will demonstrate using the SNEC swap DAP on the Basilisk parachain. You can use the DAP as usual. Connect your account. Input the amount of tokens that you wish to swap and press swap. The same process as we described earlier will happen, whereby you need to scan a QR code from your Parity Signer device and then a second QR code from your Nova Wallet device. Nova Wallet really does vastly improve the user experience for Parity Signer users.